As you probably know by now, complex decision trees can get very large. When there are multiple levels of decisions and chance nodes, and there are several branches for each, it can quickly become almost impossible to see the entire tree on the screen or on a printed page. Precision Tree provides a handy tool for alleviating this problem. It allows you to collapse all branches leading out of, that is to the right of, a given node. All you will see is the node and its associated expected value. Of course, if you need to see the details, you can expand the node again. As an example, here is the decision tree from one of the precision tree example files. It is for pricing a three-day American put option. Obviously, it is a large tree, and if I zoom in enough to see the whole tree, you can't read the detail. Here is a section of the tree you can read, right here. It is for the situation where the price of the stock increased on day one, and the decision maker decided wisely not to exercise the option at the end of day one. If you right click the leftmost chance node in this subtree and select Collapse Child Branches, it becomes this part right here. All you see is the expected value, 1762, and a plus sign to indicate that this has been collapsed. To reverse the process, you can simply click this plus sign, and it expands again. Of course, you can decide the level of detail you want to show, say, in a report for your colleagues. As an example, I will collapse it so only the outcomes and decisions on day one are visible. All you really see is that you should not exercise the option after day one, regardless of the price change on day one, up or down. As another example, I will show more detail in the bottom section. The bottom section is where the price decreases on day one. It turns out that if the price increases on day one, up here, you should never exercise the option on later days. So maybe the tree shown here is sufficient in the top section. But the bottom section shows a case where you should exercise at the end of day two. Namely, if the price on day two also decreases.